Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful, divine, masculine lines. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for you beautiful souls. I know it has been a minute. Um, it has been a lot. <laughs> There's been so much going on, and I do apologize. I send my apologies out to you, Divine Masculines, because I know you all have been waiting for your reading. I was able to push out a Scorpio reading as well as the Yin reading, and this Divine Masculine reading has been taking forever. I actually recorded another reading, but was instructed to do another reading. Um, so who knows, I may still upload that one um, that I originally did as a bonus message. Um, so we're going to tap in, see what's coming and going out, going on. I want to welcome anyone of you that may be new to the channel. As I said, my name is Q. I am a Scorpio, I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So you will hear me reference music, song, whether the lyrics in the song, name of an artist, even sometimes the timestamp of a song and it correlates very beautifully with what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what may be coming out with the tarot cards. Uh, right now we have Tosh Sultana and the name of this song is called Synergy. Um, I'll just give y'all a little peeky peek. So this is the um, song that I'm listening to right now. So Tosh Sultana, the name of the song is Synergy. So some of you all, maybe there is uh, someone that could be coming into your life um, that you may feel like you have some really dope chemistry with. This is um, really triggering that energy of like, you know, maybe someone that you feel is like the yin to your yang, maybe a cosmic connection. Maybe you've bumped into someone recently and you just like the way, you know, the, the communication flows. You like the conversations. Um, you like the depth, you know, there's depth to this person. They're not superficial or they're not just, you know, um, you know, physically beauty with beautiful with nothing else to offer. It's almost as if um, there's something that's like very um, magnetic, which pulls you to this individual. So, you know, there is this strong sense I'm getting of like long conversations. So I don't know if you may be like, you know, love Jones and on the phone as of late uh, with someone new that you may have uh, bumped into, but I'm getting a sense of like, you have to go to work early in the AM and you, you sitting there like Jones and on the phone to like one, two, you know what I'm saying? In the AM knowing you got to go to work the next day so it's like you know only someone very um very attractive or someone that you're interested in can can keep you from your rest so this isn't just some fly by night type of situation i feel like you you feel that sense of um connectivity with this person and so much so that we have synergy there's this synergy this chemistry this familiarity even if you just met this person you almost get that feeling like you knew them forever you know uh because maybe there's a lot of uh things that the two of you may share in common maybe you have similar interests in perhaps music maybe you like the same genre of music maybe you like the same types of movies um, maybe you both have similar interests in terms of you know how you wish to to uh, cultivate a family or you know maybe some of your goals and some of your dreams align with this person but uh, whatever um, I'm picking up on is just a beautiful beautiful connection uh, and this is someone that is very much um, she's this this divine feminine energy is what I'm picking up on so this is like a goddess you know you may refer to this person as goddess or queen um, you know she's got this real strong empress energy and this is the type of divine feminine that knows her worth and value so she is it's like she keeps you on your square she keeps you on your toes uh, because you have to kind of you know match her vibration match her fly um, this isn't just, you know, some little young PYT, you know, where you could just tell them anything. And, you know, this one here is is, is more so um, in that same arena that you are in. Very well learned, very experienced, uh, very spiritual. I get a strong sense of someone very spiritual. And we have Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye. Um, this is like a compilation 
I can't really hear what's playing. So I'm just getting a sense of like an old soul. Uh, this is someone that, like I said, is very experienced, been around, uh, and has had a lot of, um, you know, has had a lot of experiences which have taught, which has taught uh, her or you know if you're in same-sex um, situations it's taught them um, a lot about life you know and and they're not walking around with a chip on their shoulder uh, they're not scorned it's like they're still you know they have this very inviting type of energy um, and they just radiate you know this 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 sense of confidence this beauty this light and it attracts you you're attracted so that's just what I'm picking up uh, for the Divine Masculines with this Tosh Sultana reference. That was a big old uh, long download I just received. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was a very long-winded download. So for any one of you that may be new, first and foremost, welcome to the platform. Welcome to the channel. Um, the way that I do things here is my uh, spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the messages do not apply, just let it fly by. Um, my readings are also timeless. Time is fluid. So whenever you find this video, whenever this video has found you, beloved, that was divine time and in divine order that that has taken place. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and uh, do some house cleaning. And then I want to give you uh, a sound bath. I'm just going to, you know, bang on the singing bowl just to center you, to get you in spiritual alignment. I want you to be here now and we'll proceed with the read, beloveds. Uh, for all of you who are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Um, so let's go ahead. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun. To bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mo to be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. So let's go ahead, as I said, and let's get a nice little bang on the singing bowl. So if you like, you may do some inhale, deep inhale, and exhale. Just to get yourself centered, just to ground your energy. Lovely. So my beautiful Divine Masculines, as I said, we're going to get a nice little read, take a peeky peek, see what's coming in, going out, going on. For the Beloveds, right now we have TLC, Red Light Special. So some of you all, I feel like there's definitely um, someone special that's coming in. But more importantly, I feel like this is someone that's going to be very, um, you know, very maternal. I feel a maternal energy with TLC. Uh, I feel someone, like I said, that's just uh, very loving, very nurturing. This is that qu the qualities of a divine feminine or the attributes, the characteristics of a divine feminine is she knows how to uh, take care of the family. She knows how to um, nurture the family. Uh, so I'm do, I do feel the sense of like, you know, someone that's coming in with that very uh, maternal energy that you were looking for. Um, I also get a sense that, you know, this is a very special connection, a very special um, partnership that I'm picking up on. So let's see what we got. We're going to use the uh, Witch's Wisdom. 
uh, to pay homage to the season. We are officially, as of today, in Scorpio season. So we are going to be using the uh, Witch's Wisdom deck. Um, just to pay he, you know, pay homage to the Halloween season, Scorpionic energy. Um, this is the spooky time of year, uh, so we're gonna use these cards to see, you know, tap into that that dark energy. You know what I'm talking about? So on the bottom of the deck we have autumn, and so this is the season autumn. So something very uh, special could be taking place. As I said, uh, we have red light special playing. So I feel like something special or someone special could be, you know, entering into your lives. Um, I definitely feel like this person watches you. This isn't someone that you're communicating with. Maybe you have some sort of platform, a social media platform, or maybe this is just someone that's familiar. Maybe this is someone that lives in your community that you may not know, has some sort of crush, a secret crush. Maybe this is some sort of uh, secret admirer. Uh, on the spit, split, we have respect here. So there is this level of respect. I feel like, you know, um, even at your place of employment, I feel because you work very hard, um, you've earned and garnered the respect of your peers, your colleagues. I feel those that could be watching you, they respect your hustle um, because maybe they've seen, you know, you, you grow constantly. Things are constantly moving and shaking for you. Um, but I do get a strong sense of like maybe there's some sort of financial uh, stability. Maybe you're like very uh, successful in your career. Maybe you live in a beautiful home. You drive a nice car uh, that could speak to material wealth. So you could be well off. I'm getting a sense of uh, where you may have a lot of respect. Uh, so let's tap in. So spirit, what messages you have for my divine masculine? You know, I get a strong sense of someone very practical, very resourceful. It's like you know how to make a dollar. You know how to make things move and shake. Um, you're always like reinventing yourself also, reinventing the wheel, pushing the envelope, very determined, very ambitious. So some of you all could have started like your own businesses, um, you know, and you're always like you know how to make money. You know how to uh, open up another stream of the income. Um, maybe some of you all are doing things. See that? I told you you had a special connection. We got hand fasting here, and this says union. So I was picking up on that because we had Tosh Sultana singing synergy. And, you know, whenever you have a synergetic uh, connection with someone, it's, it, it, it's something that's, um, it's like you're coming into alignment with someone that's divinely meant for you. Someone that spirit is is aligning you with so with this card I see two people jump in the broom so that could be really speaking to marriage in your future uh, divine masculines you may be proposing to someone um, I'm hearing the word elope in my mind's eye I've heard that before in other readings so I don't get a sense of like this big long you know big wedding with 250 people and feeding all these individuals I, I feel like strongly like I see some of some of you all just choosing to either um, be committed by you know perhaps an elder or some uh, matriarch or patriarch within your family so I'm seeing like a commitment ceremony uh, maybe some of you all really don't want to go through the court system but even for some of you that do I'm seeing like justice of the peace but I'm just seeing a lope I'm just seeing where you just jump in the broom you're just making it happen um, there's not going to be this big old wedding uh, because I feel like it, it, it just for you all, for whoever, it's like you all are seasoned, as I was saying earlier. So you don't really, um, you're bumping into someone also that can, that just really just wants to be with you. They don't need all the bells and whistles to sustain them or to let them feel special. It's like they, they're not interested in all of that, the wedding. And it's to me, it's, an, it's just a, a, a overrated party. You know what I'm saying? You're feeding all these people, half of them people you haven't spoken to a scene in years and it's just an unnecessary bill like some people be spending hundreds of thousands of dollars and they're living in a jack so they live it like living very meager um me you know <laughs> living meagerly and it's just like why are you spending all this money on a wedding it's just one day you know and to me it's it's more special when it's, it's something that is not so much just this show 
it's like it's it's between you and that person of course children if they're involved your immediate family if you want them involved but having all these guests and I, I just don't I don't get it but I feel strongly like you and whoever you're bumping into you share similar um, you share that simon that similar uh, concept when it comes to marriage which is why I kept hearing elope so this isn't the type of female that has you know this princess dress and the type of ring and cut and you know no it, it, it's not gonna be that this is gonna be the type of person you're gonna be like you know what let's go get married and she's gonna be like let's do it because the spontaneity the just the fat the thrill you know it's just like because it's because it's about the two of you is what I'm trying to say it's not about everybody else it's not about the show it's not about you know the showcase it's really just about you wanting to lock that person in and let them know look I love you and and I feel like they're going to be receptive this isn't going to be someone in someone that's um, needy or materialistic in that sense all right I hope I said a lot just to say that <laughs> So let's tap in. Look at this prosperity. This is a very beautiful, divine, divine union connection. There's abundance, there's prosperity, there's expansion, there's growth, there's success, there's opulence. This is a beautiful card which speaks to the hard work that you've paid, that your hard work is paying off. The seeds that you have sown, beloveds, they're, they're, they're absolutely, you know, blossoming for you. This is really like spirit gifting you rewarding you some of you all may receive news about a new career opportunity a promotion some of you may be surprised by a new bump in your pay maybe you're going to receive a bonus for some work that you did maybe you're going to receive some unexpected income but that's a beautiful card look at y'all energy this is why you're getting it some of you all are entrepreneurs and you're seeing you know your assets are increasing you're seeing your value is really is 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 um, flourishing at this time I feel like business is good if you are um, entrepreneurs because I was picking up on some of you having your own businesses and I just feel like there's there's other streams of income for you all six universal year you know is really about restoring the balance the harmony bringing things back into alignment next year will be a seven universal year you know, so there's going to be a lot of spiritual um, awakenings for for a lot of people. There's going to be uh, some truths in terms of, you know, belief systems. People are going to come into some sort of awareness as to what their belief systems are. And it may not align with, you know, what others, you know. So I, I just get a strong sense of, like, you know, some of you all, are, things are balancing out. I get a sense of, like, financial freedom. Like, if you came into the year... Um, really struggling uh, financially or trying to figure out how you were going to balance things out after some sort of uh, end of a relationship, a partnership, a connection with someone that you had like a domestic partnership where you may have lived with that person. I feel like things got a little difficult, you know, after in the aftermath because it's like now you're trying to juggle all of the bills whereas in the past you may have been juggling like 65 percent of the bills or 75 percent of the bills and now a hundred percent onus is on you and so you may have come into the year a little shaky everybody did post you know the whole pandemic pandemic but um i feel strongly like now you're you're closing out the year you know standing perpendicular in your square uh, standing your ground, feeling real comfortable, feeling more secure, feeling more self-sufficient and independent. And thus, that's making you feel happier. Um, we have Mary J. Blige, uh, Rent Money, <laughs> featuring uh, Dave East. So, yeah, some of you all was kind of struggling to, to get your rent money together, you know. And, and now I feel like there's absolutely, like, um, things balancing out. So let's tap in. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's let's tap in. It's coming in for my divine masculines. May I have a message of love, message of light for the divine masculines. Yeah, I, I just keep hearing rewards, recognition. You know, is a major breakthrough even. So that's a beautiful. I feel good with that. So let's cut the deck. I cut three times just to make sure.
bottom of the deck, overall energy, and we have manifestation. Beautiful energy. You all are manifesting something. I feel like there's definitely, um, you're setting intention. There's something that you desire. There's something that you are um, trying to acquire or obtain. So some of you all could have been manifesting. You've been really, uh, maybe you've been writing in your journals. Maybe you've been speaking your daily mantras, calling this in. Some of you all, you know, are magis where you could have been doing some sort of spell to manifest something that you desire. Maybe it's it's impertinence to money because we have rent money playing by Mary J. Blige. Uh, but I also see here with the death card. So the person that you're attracting, they could have Scorpio in their chart. You know, this could be someone um, who's recently gone through some sort of transformation because we're about to pull the energy of the person you're attracting and we have death. So this could be, you know, very symbolic of um, major shifts, major changes taking place, uh, painful changes, but they are definitely necessary. Uh, what people don't realize is whatever isn't growing, it's dead. And I feel like there is absolutely uh, someone who has been going through some sort of startling metamorphosis, changing and transforming transforming, um, learning how to utilize their power, uh, utilizing um, their ability to turn their thoughts into reality. I uh, feel someone is really um, emerging, someone brand new, has a different perspective on life um, due to some of the experiences, circumstances they may have endured. Uh, but the death card really is about a rebirth. It's about transformation. It's um, you're, you, you feel renewed because it's like the death of the old version of yourself, whether that be uh, the, the death of uh, certain ideologies and belief systems, maybe even habits, uh, maybe even behaviors. Uh, this is, you know, always very indicative of, you know, powerful changes. Um, this energy is the uh, conduit of a major change or a major shift that's taken place. Uh, so something had to die in order for something else to blossom and grow. So let's see. So this person could have gone through some sort of um, dark night of the soul journey. Uh, we have Rel featuring Jay-Z, Love for Free. So this is definitely someone who felt like they were in a relationship, just giving away the love, but it wasn't reciprocated. Um, it was very imbalanced. And I feel like that death, that transformation, um, in it, it, cause I was picking up you attracting someone who's experienced, who's learned, who's gone through, uh, similar circumstances that you may have, uh, which is why the two of you will have such synergy because there's so many commonalities, uh, between the two of you. But this person is obviously someone who's gone through something major, a major transformation. Bottom of the deck, we got moon cycles. So there is a completion of cycles. I feel also that something has come full circle. I feel someone is wrapping up a cycle, wrapping up some sort of karmic uh, lesson or going through some sort of karmic circumstance. But we have air imagination. So this person that you're attracting, this is someone who really carries you uh, in their spirit. This is someone who's very um, cerebral. They could be very intuitive. This is someone that looks at the bigger picture. Someone that could be very logical. Uh, this is someone who is uh, desiring to communicate. Uh, maybe they dream about you a lot. Maybe there's a lot of dream activity. Um, but I do feel like this is someone who's also uh, very powerful in their ability to manifest um, because we all know that, you know, your, your mind acts as a projector. So what you pay attention to and focus on the most is what you manifest in this physical reality. So maybe this is someone who could be, uh, pot potentially like trying to manifest you back. Um, this is someone who could be doing some sort of spells to manifest you. Um, this is someone that absolutely thinks of you a lot. Uh, I feel they dream of you, they think of you, but more importantly, uh, they're going to communicate. They desire to communicate. Um, and I feel like, you know, maybe there's been some things that they've been hiding. Uh, they feel that you are very, um, you know, maybe you are someone who's very reserved. Uh, you don't really uh, show your hand, you know, you're kind of like um, a mystery to this person. 
with the cycles, I do get a strong sense um, that there's some things that you may not know about this person, or maybe this person feels like there's some things about you that they're still uncertain of. Um, but I do also get a strong sense that the two of you could be communicating if you are aware of who this person is, even if you aren't. If you are uh, sending out prayers and petitions, this person is closer than you can imagine uh, because with this manifestation, it's like whatever you are manifesting is coming into fruition. Uh, because we have this moon cycle, so maybe during the full moon, whatever you've been manifesting will come into fruition. Um, I feel there's a strong connection or chemistry here with this person. And we have um, Casa overall. And the name of this song is called Was She Happy? So maybe there's someone who could have been like, you know, maybe they felt like they were a third party or maybe they felt like they... Um, weren't necessarily a priority if you are familiar with who this person is and so maybe they are looking at your circumstance wondering if the woman you could have been with were they happy in the relationship with you because i feel they get a sense of like it's i just get a sense of someone just feeling like they didn't really know um they couldn't really get a gauge on who you are because there was so many things hidden maybe you were like a hermit you know, I'm getting like, you know, a crab, you know, like the crab, the hermit crab. This is someone that kind of, you know, hides away, um, you know, so maybe you were just very protective of your energy. But I also feel they 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 feel like they, you could have been keeping secrets or maybe you feel this, but someone's feeling like there was a lot of secrets or maybe there was some things that were hidden. Um, and this is someone that really is looking... Uh, at things from a bird's eye view. So let's see, how does this person that our Divine Masculine is attracting feel about our Divine Masculine? May I have a message of love and light? How does this person our Divine Masculine is attracting feel? All right, so it fell on the floor yet again. They feel you're very protected, very guarded. You know, you're, you're very guarded. And I feel like it's because maybe, you know, uh, with was she happy? Um, maybe that could be you, you know, just because it says she was he happy. So maybe someone feels like you're guarded because you just you weren't happy in your former relationship. Or maybe you just had to go through something. See, what did I say about secrets? And the overall energy is secrets, book of shadows. So whoever this is that's manifesting, I feel like this is speaking um, to this person that's manifesting. Someone is doing spells. Someone is doing some sort of concocting some sort of spell work or some sort of um, ritual to manifest another person back this person is protected you are protected they feel you're protected maybe someone's trying to do some sort of spell work maybe they're watching you whoever this is they are secretly um, watching you and learning or studying you in some way shape form or fashion this is someone that's like they're they're in the shadows so i get a sense of like this person kind of watching from a distance why is uh what's hidden in the energy but they do feel like you're protected you're guarded and continue to do so you know you don't want anybody manipulating your energy what's hidden is incubation so this is really that energy of you know um healing you know really healing from past circumstances really taking the necessary time to reflect you know this is about self-analysis self-awareness self-discovery even but spirit is sitting someone down so that they could look at things with a broad a broad understanding omni standing overstanding of this situation and we have chem love calls so this person will call you once they come out of this, you know, out of this very uh, protective bubble, if you will. Is this someone who's created almost like a safe space or a safe haven, healing from past circumstances and events? I feel you both are guarded because how they feel about you is protection and what's hidden is we have incubation. So these are two people who are, you know, 
learning and growing very very um wise wise enough to know to protect themselves you know that's almost like seeking answers from within not stepping outside of one's boundaries or you know just just kind of doing the internal self analysis and we have a uh, homecoming so someone feels you are the hearth the home with love calls i feel like you know love is a house you know your love is a house and maybe this person definitely is feeling like the chemistry between the two of you i saw intensification earlier um and so this person is like this 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 time apart it's like they, they're getting some sort of grand epiphany you know it's like love is pulling and tugging on this person or perhaps this is your energy you've been very guarded and protective of your energy and whatever someone is doing to manifest this union it's like it's happening I feel spirit is also saying that um, this is a very spiritual partnership a spiritual union or connection the first card we saw was hand fasting so this is obviously someone that is you know like a cosmic companion or some past life love there's a very strong connection here and with this incubation I do feel like you both are kind of like doing your due diligence to be or to to present your your best versions you know to the other but they're returning homecoming someone is returning to you cuz love is calling them loving's love is pulling them i was pulling picking up like um a magnet this magnetic you know pull and that fire that desire is intensifying so what is the outcome for my beloved divine masculine I have a message of love and light thank you spirit bottom of the deck we have alchemist so absolutely you got the manifestation and alchemist so this person is also spiritual see that magic someone is doing love spells i feel like someone's trying to magic manifest you you divine masculines back with candle magic some sort of candle magic some sort of love spells they're doing something because we got too many cards you got manifestation and this is someone that you have like roots with you, you so I, I get a strong sense of like if you didn't meet this person in a past life love I feel like you definitely know this person from this lifetime maybe this is someone that you worked with someone you lived around someone that you could have frequented the same you know store gym you know maybe nature trail this is someone you're familiar with someone is trying to manifest you the alchemist is you know just as powerful as that um, magi because they both you know uh, can co-create with source and this is someone that could be cooking up some sort of magic spells to manifest this divine union and how they feel about you is you're very guarded very protective maybe you all are protecting yourselves from such uh, manipulation of your energy but it's no doubt about it that somebody is definitely like cooking up something to 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 draw you in Just go with your, your energy. And we have um, Toby Nowigi, and it says, I shine. So someone definitely feels like you shine. And I was picking up, you know, uh, you know that uh, whoever you are attracting, like this is someone who's very radiant. You know, this is someone who isn't shy to pursue, too shy to pursue, you know, what she desires. So we have on the bottom of the deck, the thinking man. So someone is really trying to strategize, plan, prepare, you know, a way to come toward you. And we have financial constraints here. So maybe they're trying to get their money together so that they could come toward you. Remember, we had rent money earlier with Mary J. Blige. So some of you all could be dealing with someone named Mary. Maybe someone is sending up some prayers and petitions to Mother Mary, hoping for a miracle. But I... Uh, with this 13 four, that could have also been, you know, the the um, the thing that was blocking someone. Like I said, when you are in, you know, relationships with, you know, especially domestic relationships where you reside with another person, um, your your chances are you're splitting a lot of the responsibility, the financial responsibility with another person. And when someone up and decides to leave, then the the you know the 
responsibility falls on just that one person. So it may take a little while for you to, you know, to be able to balance things out financially. So maybe someone was really struggling in that regard. And because this is 13, 13 is associated with the death. I feel there's an end to these financial constraints because someone has figured out a way out of it. You know, um, they figured out a way to uh, to balance things out, to get their, their finances back in order. Um, they figured out a way to uh, work through whatever this was. And if you see this, there's feathers in, you know, this top hat that this gentleman is wearing. So it's like spirit guided this individual. You know, their angels, their ancestors, their spirit team was really providing that spiritual guidance, giving them those nudges, telling them which direction to go. And as you can see, it's like they're learning, um, you know, how to utilize their own power. They're believing, you know, that could be what the manifestation is. You know, ye are gods, like knowing that you are you know, made in the most high's image. It's like your mind acts as a projector. It's also the devil's playground. So it's very important to be mindful of what you tell yourself, what you feed yourself, what information you are um, feeding yourself, whatever it is you're listening to. You know, those are all things that could affect you because your subconscious locks a lot of information and data. You know, it, it records data constantly, whether you're in the awakened state or not. And so it's very important to tell yourself what you can do opposed to what you can't do. And so in this regard, I definitely feel like, you know, you knew that better days were ahead. And instead of focusing on that problem, you stayed, uh, you know, very, very, very diligent in finding the solution. And as you can see, your hard work has paid off because you have blossoming abundance here. So a lot of you all could have been doing money spells. You could have been doing prosperity spells. Uh, financial spells, job spells, can have been doing something to uh, draw in that new opportunity to you or to draw in whatever it was you wanted. So this card just, um, you know, kind of flew out as I was shuffling. So I feel like Spirit chose this card. It says Angel of Love. So you all are definitely um, on someone, heavy's, heavy on someone's heart and in their mind as well. Um, with this angel of love, I feel the angel is bringing some sense of balance. The number four is really, um, you know, the vibration of 1111. And that's also the uh, heart chakra. Um, and it's also the divine masculine's number, number four. So there is someone that does love you very dearly. This is someone that could be doing some sort of love spells. And I have I shine. Um, still playing by Toby Nwigi. So whoever this is, this person feels, you know, that you shine bright like a diamond. You know, uh, as I said, if some of you all are on some sort of social media platform, or even if you aren't on a social media platform per se, maybe just the way you carry yourselves, um, your confidence, you know, maybe you're very, um, very rooted, um, very respectful. Uh, maybe you're a gentleman, you know, you believe in pulling out chairs and doors, opening doors for women, uh, whatever it is, this is like your, your, your love language, um, is something that really res radiates, um, or resonates with another person. Um, and I feel like spirit is guiding because whenever I see these, these feathers, I definitely feel like this is a spiritual connection, a spiritual, uh, partnership with someone. Uh, and this is going to blossom and grow into, as I said, like a commitment uh, someone that you are going to be in a union um, because we saw those two individuals on the um, hand fasting card which they were jumping the broom so the angel of love is bringing you love they are aligning you with true love they're aligning you with a spiritual partner um, and there's not a lot of people that's going to be happy about that we have envy here so I don't know if some of you all have an X you know these X's and O's you know, that, that constantly want to hold on and, and don't want to let a person go. There's this envy here. Someone's going to be very envious of this connection because of the synergy, because of the chemistry. Um, it's going to feel like you knew this person all your life. Even if you've been with an ex for like 10 years and then you get with this person, the way that the two of you 
you know, get along or the banter between the two of you, the conversations, the likeness, it's going to feel like you knew each other for years. Um, people may not believe that you just met that person if you just meet them, if this is not someone that you know from your past, if this person that's coming in is a brand new person, people may not believe that you just met them because of the way that you two get along the, the way that you two carry on the way that the the banter is it's like there's this sense of familiarity you know you complement one another and there's going to be a lot of jealous people not just the x or the o you know but it's going to be even your homeboys you know because you're going to want to spend more time or utilize your time on with that young lady with that new person you know, so you're not going to be hitting up the football games or going to the boys' house to play cards, spades, pool. It's frequent because now you're nurturing this new relationship. You're cultivating a relationship with this, this divine feminine. So it's like there may be some, some jealousy, some envy here. People are really, um, you know, really uh, going to have a lot to say uh, negatively. And that could be you know why protection is here because fear is reminding you like protect your energy at all costs protect your energy uh by all means because a lot of people you know that smile in your face are not necessarily happy for you you know smiling and beguiling is very common there's a devil that's smiling in your face right now you know um so it's like be mindful be you know and, and trust your intuition um we have mary j blige featuring greg nice it says you remind me so let's tap in. So who is this person with imagination? So like I said, somebody that's going to feel very familiar. Uh, because how they feel is you remind them of something. Um, and this is Mary again. So there's someone named Mary. I don't know who, you know, some of you all could be dealing with someone ma named Mary. Because this is the second time Mary J. Blige has played. So we have Goddess of the Moon. And then we have this... Uh, this um, all tied up card and the two of these together this reduces to 12 which is three so there is someone who you know could have been maybe they're hiding you know these emotions and these feelings not really expressing themselves not really communicating um, but I do get a sense that they will eventually um, you know express what they feel because it's it's almost like torturous to to keep your thoughts to yourself like when you have this much that you want to say to the point where you're like almost this is like self-imposed like mental anguish or mental conflict um somebody's just clearly thinking 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 analysis paralysis and when you don't emote or express those feelings or you don't communicate it can really cause like a lot of anxiety um, a lot of stress even. So I do feel like, you know, there is some sort of epiphany that, you know, maybe they need to take action because this seven is, you know, associated with the chariot and traditional tarot. So, you know, there is this strong sense that they need to get out of their head and just, you know, be more assertive, go after what they want. We have, uh, Tavares, and this is called Never Had a Love Like This Before. So this person could be, maybe they never felt these emotions in the past. The way they feel about you is maybe you have never had a love, you know, like theirs before. Um, and that's why you are, you know, kind of protecting yourself, guarding yourself. Because maybe you've been hurt in the past. Maybe they know your story. Maybe they're familiar with your backstory. Um, and that's why you're coming off guarded. But Carnacopia is here. So they do see you as very, very um, successful, very resourceful. Um, they see you as very financially um, set as well. Like someone who's uh, very responsible. Um, you may have that Midas touch. You get things done. As I was picking up earlier, like, you know, you could be that divine masculine that knows how to, you know, always bring a stream of income in. You're not the type to just, you know, sit on your behind. It's like you, you go get it and you make things happen. Um, I definitely feel like you're super protective as well of your yourself, of your, your finances. You're not big on splurging and just spending. It's like you, you really believe in, um, you know, financial literacy. You know, maybe you are someone who's set up wills. Maybe you have life insurance already. 
established for yourself. Uh, maybe you're someone who is into stocks, um, into the stock market. Um, maybe you're someone who's just, you know, always building your financial um your financial portfolio but this is really showing like blessings you know a harvest coming in for all of the hard work i just saw 444 four, four, and um that 444 four, four reduces to 16 and that's seven so whoever this person is i do feel like they are coming toward you but i also feel like a lot of you have some good news that's rushing in I feel like if you were applying for a job, if you interviewed for a job, if you interviewed or applied for some sort of loan, I feel like the answer is yes, beloved. I feel like whatever it is that you have been waiting for, whatever that, what, whatever it is, because I get a sense of you put in some application or you filed some paperwork and you're just waiting for the answer, there's a yes answer coming in. And it may come in 11 days. It may come on um, the 11th. Um, month next month um, it may come on the 11th of uh, of November um, but I feel like 11 is a significant number um, some of you all could have been born on the 11th day maybe something significant happened uh, or happens in November um, whatever the case may be I feel strongly a yes uh, I also feel like there's someone coming in because this is that 11 and as I said earlier with this angel of love four is the vibration of the 1111 which is associated with like the twin flame that that you know that that cosmic companion that divine masculine divine feminine energy and then you have this 11 here so there's someone coming in that's going to bring balance um bring some sort of uh stability into your life but i also feel like spirit is also rewarding you and recognizing you um for taking charge taking action so let's see why is um magic circle here protection for how this person our divine masculines feel about our divine masculines and we got seven see this anxiety someone is up in their head because maybe they feel like they can't get through or maybe there's no communication you're very guarded very blocked off you know what i'm saying you've disconnected you know and this person is really anxious up in their head which is what i was saying here because this 23 you see how they're all tied up you know, this is what they, how they feel, the person you're attracting, rather. Um, this is the person you're attracting, so they're all tied up. Maybe they're, you know, cutting themselves free, getting rid of what no longer serves them, whether that be belief systems, ideologies. The number 23 is a number of, you know, conflict. Um, it could also be combative energy, dealing with hostile energy. Um, maybe they're dealing with someone who's a gaslighter. Uh, but this is also, you know, the number of five, five is associated with the Hierophant, which is also saying that someone is learning. Um, they're in a studious energy. They're, they're uh, starting to trust their own intuition, especially with the, the uh, goddess of the moon. And remember, I mentioned goddess, and we have goddess of the moon. So this is, in fact, that divine feminine energy I was picking up on. So they had to also bob and weave through some really tumultuous circumstances, toxic uh, relationships um, as well. And I feel like they are finally um, trusting their intuition or going by their gut instinct uh, to take action and move forward because this 23 and this 52 uh, reduces to 12. Um, so I'm getting a strong sense of, you know, that Empress 12 reduces to three. So three is associated with the divine feminine, the Empress. Uh, and it's clear with goddess of the moon, that could be the Empress who is a master manifester who could be manifesting you, calling you in, um, asking spirit to, uh, you know, bring their divine counterpart to them. And the angel of love said, and it is so, you know, she's here working on this request so with this anxiety someone may feel a lot of anxiety because maybe they're not seeing the signs this is someone up in their head a lot you know someone that could be like suffering from insomnia someone who's just constantly thinking 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 ruminating pining thinking 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 overthinking over analyzing and it's just like they just got to trust the process the good thing about this is it's at a 
uh, nine and nine is the highest number of change so they will get out of that and I feel like it's because their angels their ancestors maybe your angels and ancestors are aligning things you know the community is about having a support system in the spiritual realm I feel also you know this partnership this connection is uh, spiritually protected as well I feel like there was a need um, for both parties to really heal uh, to really do their internal uh, their own internal healing or their own healing at a soul level before they come into union so as not to bring baggage so as not to bring the confusion into a situation um, we have um, intimate friends playing so for some of you all this is someone you could have been intimate with uh, someone that you may have um, coined a friend of yours um, and that is that person that you always um, felt that chemistry or that synergy but you guys never took it to the next level maybe out of fear maybe because you both had other connections uh but i do feel like there was some level of intimacy and you know there's th this pulling away you know someone helped had felt like they needed to pull back or to heal from another situation um and rightfully so because you know, the community card is really speaking to uh, your angels and your guides that are really showing you the support and giving you the guidance as necessary. If you look closely, there's like orbs of light, which is very indicative of an angelic presence or spiritual presence. And seven is a very spiritual number. So I do feel like there's divine interventions or downloads, transmissions, maybe even lucid dreams. Maybe someone's communicating telepathically or intuitively. Maybe some of you all are clairaudient where you could be having some sort of, you know, songs constantly playing, reminding you of someone. Uh, but this energy is really someone taking um, the time out to really uh, reflect, you know, to to really, uh, you know, look back in awareness almost. But this is a protective bubble. So with this intimate friend, I do feel like there has been some intimacy between you. Um, if not, I just feel like it, there will be. Uh, so why is um, incubation here for what's hidden in the energy for my divine masculines? They have a message of love and light, spirit. Thank you, spirit. See that? Can't make this up. Bottom of the deck, we got third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. So there is someone mustering up the courage and the strength to take action. See that? So they go from being in this incubation. This is almost like, you know, taking a pause, taking a moment to reflect, strategize. And then once they gain, you know, some sort of epiphany or once they see something clearly, you know, once they finish doing their own internal work, their own internal self audit, that's when they're going to take action. This is the number 17. So this could be like a wish fulfillment. This is like an answered prayer. Someone remained hopeful. I definitely feel like, uh, like somebody was very hopeful in this process. They did not give in to how things may have, have appeared. You know, this is someone that really knew that their prayers and would be answered. This is someone that remained very um, resilient, very diligent. You know, this is someone that has that had to, um, you know, really really take a look at themselves i get a sense and this 17 you know that's the star so i feel like this is someone that is a wish fulfillment in traditional tarot the 17 is the star card and when you break that down it's eight so they are mustering up the strength this number 37 card that is the um associated with the third chakra so your 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 core your your stomach which acts as your second brain some people say it's the first brain um but your your solar plexus is really about your strength your courage um and someone is really trying to um muster up the strength so that they could take action i feel like this is also saying that there's like wish fulfillments blessings opportunities forward movement if you felt delayed if you felt confused, even if someone felt confused, I feel like there's clarity, there's an epiphany, there's some sort of um, breakthrough, perhaps in the communication, or there's just a breakthrough in the relationship or in the connection. And we have temptations since I lost my baby. So this person, you know, maybe you've been uh, really, you know, in hermit mode or really protective of your energy since your last relationship. Maybe someone that you was dealing with lost a child. 
and I send my condolences if that uh, resonates with some of you all. Maybe someone has not been the same since they've lost a child. Maybe some of you all have lost a child recently. With third chakra, I definitely get a strong sense of, you know, someone really just taking the time out to to really take control, you know, self-control, like control of their own subconscious thoughts even. This is also about trusting your uh, divine knowledge, wisdom, omni-standing, overstanding, standing in your power, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in, speaking up for yourself, standing your ground even. This is about self-respect, self-dignity. With this 37, that reduces to 1. So I feel like somebody had to, you know, really stand in their power um, because maybe they was under some sort of spell or under some sort of witchery. And this angel is here saving, you know, saving them from something. That's why protection is here. Because someone could have been manipulating another person's energy. You know, let's tap in. Let's see. Why is candles here? Okay, we got a couple of cards on the bottom of the deck. I didn't even see. So we got fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. And then we have the temple path. So someone could be just, and then we have Archangel, um, I mean, um, yeah, Archangel Raphael. So he deals with the heart chakra, and this is the number 38. So 11, another 11. We got 39. We have 12. So this is, um, these two together is six. Someone from your past. Someone from your past could be doing some sort of candle magic. You know, desiring to communicate, desiring to speak to you. Maybe they're doing some sort of candle magic. This is someone that really wants, you know, marriage. You know, they, they want marriage. You know, this is, with this temple path, this is really uh, someone who feels like, You're like their, the yin to their yang. The six is associated with the lovers. You know, the lovers is overseen by an angel, you know, and that means that that could be like a very uh, powerful union and partnership, loveship. This person strongly desires to communicate. And I feel like that's where all the anxiety comes in is the lack of communication. And there's no doubt in my mind that this is on behalf of perhaps a feminine energy you're dealing with. Or maybe you could be thinking heavily about a divine feminine. You know, desiring to speak to them. It's a vice versa situation. You know your story. But this is like when you see these like, you know, I forgot what they call this. But it really, this is where a lot of people would have, you know, like a wedding ceremony or some sort of commitment ceremony. They would do it there. You know, it's just a beautiful scenery, you know, and um, so someone really, really desires to communicate, really desires to express their feelings. This is someone from your past that wishes to reunite, to rekindle, to even resuscitate this connection and take it further. This is someone that carries you around in their spirit, in their heart, this is someone that's been holding on to you or someone you've been holding on to, someone you can't stop thinking of. I feel like spirit is reminding you to listen to your heart. You know, because this is someone that I do, I do feel like even you feel this is someone that is like a twin flame. And we have Kambada, God lived, and it says devil dog backwards so God lived is devil dog backwards so when I hear God lived I'm just getting a strong sense of like this is a divine connection you know God lived so someone really was living you know perhaps living with um, or sleeping with, you know, like an enemy. Maybe God is, is really giving someone an opportunity to see things clearly. Because God, like I said earlier, ye are gods. 
So on the bottom of the deck, we have creativity here. So that's another three. So this is someone mustering up the strength to take action, to come towards you. This is someone that is very much that Empress energy, someone very radiant. Remember, I was picking up on a radiant energy, and that's what this card is. It's all yellow, you know, so this is someone that shines bright, you know, someone that's very wise, someone that's very beautiful. I feel like there's some sort of truth coming in. Um, if this is your energy, this is that energy of, you know, again, entrepreneurialism, someone very successful, very abundant, very powerful, someone also that knows their worth, their value. They don't allow themselves to be short changed or treated like an option or devalued. They could also be distance because we have the train going by. So maybe there's some sort of distance. Emotional, physical. And we have Evelyn Champagne King. And we have uh, relationship change on the split. And there goes another 11. So there's no denying. I definitely get a strong sense that um, you make this person, you know, feel love, feel joy, feel happy. You know, maybe you speak this person's love language. I definitely get a strong sense they want to communicate. Because this 56 reduces to 11, which reduces to 2. And then this 3. So there's no doubt about it that this person wants to communicate. I feel like with love come down, you know, I feel like, you know, um, with with this feeling of love, the intensity, I feel like it's 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 perhaps breaking down some sort of walls that they could have placed around them. Because I get a sense that not just they don't only see you as being guarded, but I feel like they, too, were very guarded as well. But I feel like you both are guarded uh, for purposes of healing so that you could heal so that you can evolve so that you can grow it isn't just oh I'm a recluse so I'm just gonna you know hide out you know or I'm isolating myself no I, I get a strong sense of like working on the self mastering oneself because both of you showed up as the divine feminine and divine masculine we saw the divine masculine show up in the reading and then we saw you know, several cards with the three, which is also the divine, you know, the number associated with the empress. And so with this creativity, yet again, that's showing that this empress is someone that's coming in with, you know, a relationship on the brain. I feel like when this empress comes in, that you will, in fact, you know, as I said, you, you will commit to that person. This is taking things to the next level. If you are single now, which I feel most of you are, um, you won't be for much longer because you have someone, as I said, that's going to pique your interest. This isn't just a pretty face and that's it. She has nothing else to offer. This is someone that is equally successful, someone that's equally experienced, very wise. Uh, this is someone very domestic or very nurturing, very maternal. Um, and she gives off yin energy, very radiant, very confident. You know, so that is going to attract you because you know what you bring to the table, Divine Masculines. If you out here making things happen and you, you, you know, you're uh, almost like that Renaissance man to a, you know, to a degree. It's like you don't want somebody just sitting around, lazing around while you running and jumping through all these different loops and, you know, setting all these fires. It's like you want your lady to compliment you in that same right. And I feel like you're attracted to someone just like that. Maybe you're dealing with someone named Evelyn. I definitely feel like that champagne reference. You're going to be reuniting with this person. Um, this is going to feel like someone you've known all your life. So this is a reunion of some sort. For some of you, this could be reconciliation with someone that you've lost contact with. Even if it's not that karmic, even if it's not that past girlfriend that you dealt with a baby mama or parent or mother to your child. Like this is just that person, that one that you always felt got away. The one that always, you know, there was always a question mark next to that person's name. And they're coming in. I feel like they're coming in. I feel like the both of you are highly intuitive. And I feel the two of you may be thinking of one another simultaneously. And that is the reason why 
we have the manifestation and the candles, you know, the spell, whatever, uh, magic, because it's like, you know, it is like magic. It is like a magnetic pull when two people think of one another. It's like you're literally carrying that person in your energy and in your vibration. But I'm, I'm hearing the term radio silence. There's been no communication and there's also been distance. So let's tap in. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. What's coming and going on on for my Divine Masculines? We are just at the one hour mark. I'm not going to do a two hour reading today. Beloveds, even though I like to deep dive, I don't want to bore y'all. So I see a card on the upright. In fact, I see two. And I feel like Spirit is telling me to take these. So the first one I saw was 99 Compassion. So this is about forgiveness, forgiving others, forgiving even yourself. This is about being, you know, non-judgmental. And we also have teaching and learning. And remember 57 and then we have this 23, 5, and then we have this 52, 7. So 57. So this person has been, you know, mastering themselves. You know, this is about like spiritual alignment, you know, growing spiritually strong. As I said, learning from past mistakes, learning how to be the conduit of change, how to co-create, learning how to purge, release things that no longer serve you, how to transform into your power. With this 9-9, nine nine, I am absolutely feeling like Spirit is saying to judge not. If someone returns... Or if someone is returning or if someone's coming towards you, I feel like Spirit wants you to be compassionate. Be forgiving, you know. Move with forgiveness. When you carry around animosity and resentment, it only weighs you down. And oftentimes people are carrying around animosity and resentment and they are charging the wrong people for the wrong crimes. It's like someone new coming in has nothing to do with someone old that you dealt with. You know, so th this is not about like lumping people up in one general uh, category. It's about being open and receptive because you have angels that are bringing forth, you know, real love. You know, someone who's emotionally intelligent that doesn't play games. And with this teaching and learning, I absolutely feel like. As I said, you know, maybe this is someone who's been watching you. This 57 reduces to 3 again also. And so this Divine Feminine has been growing, has been mastering themselves, has been healing. They've gotten rid of a lot of ideologies and belief systems that kept them trapped mentally. This could have been due, you know, due in part to being with a master manipulator like a narcissist. Or being in some sort of abusive relationship, whether mentally abusive, physically, or even verbal abuse. But this is obviously has caused fears and has triggered them in a way where they had to finally, you know, do their due diligence to deep dive, to go within. They had to trust their intuition. They had to look at things, you know, more logically, which is why this air card is here, imagination. And what they've discovered is, you know, perhaps whatever they was dealing with, that wasn't necessarily um, what was best for them. You know, they're looking at you in a whole new light. What we have on the bottom of the deck is follow your dreams. That's exactly what they realize is like your wish fulfillment. You're the one. They feel you're the one. With this 85, that reduces to 13. So they ended something. Something ended very painfully. Maybe they discovered that they weren't the only one. And this kind of freed them up. The Most High works in mysterious ways. That's why sometimes when you're trying to force the narrative or force situations, you don't know if that's the Most High breaking that situation up. And then you're trying to force it to work when there's someone or something much better, you know, on the opposite side. But this person has been growing maturing, learning in the process. They've been teaching. So every great healer had to first heal themselves. This is someone very wise. This is that, that very uh, powerful uh, divine feminine energy I was picking up on. I was picking up on someone who, you know, is, is um, 
you know, has has a lot of experience, but they're not walking around with a chip on their shoulder. They're not walking around scorned. This is someone that knows they've been through a lot and their focus is to, you know, each one teach one, pass on, pass on the wise don't, like not sit around and, 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 and just kind of like fester in all of the, the, the anger and the toxicity. This is someone that is looking at things from, you know, the bigger picture, from a broader perspective. And with this follow your dreams, this is about also discovering what you desire. You know, prioritizing your needs, your passion. And we have fabulous bombs. So I do feel like this person is really like, you know, maybe they are with this 18 anxiety. It's just like they just feel like they're not sure if you are going to trigger them in a way they don't know if they're going to trigger you by reaching out you know I'm, I'm getting a sense of like um you know they almost feel like it's a landmine they, they're afraid that you might go off on them or vice versa and you're just not you know you maybe you're not responsive because this is just an easier way to protect your energy is to just you know stay in your little bubble but they have anxiety about this connection. Let's tap in. Let's tap in. So why is magic, circle, protection, and 18 anxiety here for how this person, our divine masculine, is attracting to them? They have a message of love and light. Why is protection and anxiety here? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, 77, spirituality. Whenever I see double numbers, I absolutely feel like that is you and the person you're attracting mirroring one another so here with the nine we know that that's associated with the um, hermit so as I said both of you all especially as we can see here I was picking up on you both being very guarded with the protection card um, setting boundaries and not allowing people to you know penetrate uh, and also with this person here with the incubation that's really also just like really protecting your energy or being in a protective bubble if you will so 13 effort came out so this is in fact and there goes that number 13 remember it came out several times 13 is associated with the death card so how they feel about you is they feel a lot of anxiety um maybe this is someone that you've put a lot of effort into um and you just felt like it there was no reciprocity or maybe this is a vice versa situation where this person is afraid to uh, approach you or to take action towards you because they fear that it's going to be maybe a repeat of what has transpired in the past where they are you know um, extending themselves but yet you know there's there's no reciprocity um, you're not meeting them halfway uh, with this 13 this reduces to four uh, again so this is someone whose heart is in the right place I feel like someone um, maybe is realizing that they could have done a little more, you know, in terms of um, showing you interest, in terms of being um, available, you know, maybe for your calls or maybe for your time. Uh, maybe they didn't make enough effort. Maybe they didn't put forth enough of their, um, you know, they didn't take uh, initiative, if you will. Uh, whatever the case may be, I am seeing here uh, that there will be some sort of, you know, there is an assessment now, you know, because this is giving me like the four of swords type of energy, the four of cups, feeling almost like you've missed some sort of opportunity because now this person is extra guarded and it's like, damn, if I only would have done X, Y, and Z. So the four of cups is really like someone feeling like they've missed some sort of opportunity. The four of swords is really about someone like, recovering you know recuperating rejuvenating their soul um because someone is very guarded and blocked off with the seven seven and the nine nine remember dual numbers or uh numbers that mirror one another i always feel that's a twin flame so your yin is is mirroring you divine masculines um and it's what it's showing is you both are kind of protective of your energy but more importantly you're seeking within for the answers so with because this is a yellow card i do get a strong sense of someone um having that 
that light bulb moment like something comes to light so if someone is confused or conflicted mentally emotionally like there's going to be that grand epiphany that's going to allow for some sort of movement some sort of momentum and i feel it's because someone finally owns their power finally musters up the strength the courage and the wise don't to take action um fear not you know so we have seven seven so as i said and as i was saying all along this is a spiritual partnership i feel strongly with the seven and the seven that's associated with the crown chakra but it's also associated with the chariot uh when you break seven seven down that's 14 that's five so whoever this person is whomever this is whether this is you in isolation um, or whether this is someone else who's in that hermit mode I definitely feel like there's finally going to be that that um, breakthrough with the communication uh, because I see this uh, seven here these seven seven like I said break down to 14 so that 14 breaks down to five five is associated with what the fifth chakra the fifth chakra is all about expression expression of your feelings expression of your creative or artistic self um, but either way there is movement there's momentum as you can see action so someone's coming out of this uh, very protective bubble uh, to move forward to take action and I do feel like there's a conversation that's going to take place um, and I feel like this is going to be uh, really deep conversation I feel the two of you communicate already as I said if you're constantly thinking of someone that one person that got away maybe when you went to college and you lost contact maybe you've been looking them up googling them going on Facebook Google whatever it's like this person is gonna pop up on the grid or this is a vice versa you may have been very guarded blocked off you disconnected detached from certain people and that one person that always felt that that affinity towards you or that attraction for you is like they're thinking of you so much you're picking up on it and it's because the two of you you have a very synergetic connection we have Oshun protect yourself so you felt like you had to protect yourself uh, from you know not just um, this person but you had to protect yourself when it came to love um, Oshun is a beautiful Orisha uh, she's very attractive very powerful uh, she brings about abundance um, but this is you know the energy that you may be blocking that's why it's important to be receptive to be open to love you don't want to be blocked off because you don't know what you could be um, blocking yourself from you don't know what you could be you know it's almost like you're self-sabotaging so use your intuition uh, when it comes to uh, certain individuals don't submit your will to every person that returns but you will feel the chemistry the connectivity with this person because of this that song synergy I feel like this isn't just that typical attraction where you get aroused by a person nah this is more um, this is more mental you know it's like mind sex you know what I'm saying like dead Prez saying rhymed a couple years ago it's like mind sex like this person really stimulates you um, you both have like really deep conversations uh, and that's why you're interested um, you know yeah you 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 know the physical is is what draws you in but I feel like the 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 spiritual the mental uh, the emotional connection that you develop with this person is what's gonna lock it in for you so that's powerful so why is Astara uh, incubation 17 action here for what's hidden in the energy I can't make this up spiritual partnership I've been saying that the whole reading see that so 27 that's 9 as I said and that 9 is what that's the hermit and that's where this person is so someone's still in hermit mode but we all know 9 is the highest number of change so they're about to come out of hermit mode because whatever it was that they were assessing within themselves or whatever reflective moments they were having about their past and their circumstances it's like now they've had some sort of uh, epiphany now they've received some sort of download and they're gonna take action um, we see here 61 self-love so someone was learning to love themselves and I absolutely feel strongly like that was a part of you know the lesson because when you have the angel of love here this is about restoring what you could have possibly lost in your relationships what you could have lost within yourself whenever you get into relationships it's like you are giving of yourselves um, 
more than you realize you know to the point where you push yourself further and further in the to the background uh, because if you start having a family if you have a husband or if you have a wife it's like they're the priority and then you become you know the second and third you know that afterthought so for some of you all you had to learn to love yourselves love is an inside job uh, for some of you that's what this this divine feminine had to do that's why we have teaching and learning someone had to learn um, to prioritize themselves to love themselves right you know and when you love yourselves then you attract what you are um, when you love yourselves right you can teach people how to treat you you can teach people um, when too far is too far and you know so that's what the boundaries are but I am feeling strongly like this self-love is showing um, that you know this is what someone had to learn you know that's why they're in this incubation um, very protective energy this is about healing um, this is about growing and evolving as well and that 61 reduces to 7 that's 7 again associated with the chariot so you know not only will they be uh, more confident um, once they come out of this, you know, very, um, very um, centered place, grounded place, but they will also emote, you know, they will emote, they'll be more assertive in their actions. So this is, this is powerful. And then we had this time out also fly out. So yeah, we could see clearly that, you know, that was the assessments that was taking place. Um, this 61 is seven, along with this 37 you know that's one also 10 reduces to one so that's eight yet again so eight and eight because the 17 reduces to eight eight and eight reduces to 16 which becomes seven again so yeah that's the chariot so we're showing you someone will take action because they've mustered up that strength and courage because they have um, discovered whatever it was they were searching for you know we have to go within to find the answers um, the wizard knows that that's why he goes into the cave or she goes into the cave to you know kind of turn all the noise off to to quiet the mind to so that they could hear themselves uh, and not all of the unsolicited advice um, from those around them because as we saw clearly there was envy you know there's envy in this uh, in this um, circumstance you know so you've got to be very mindful of who you are. Uh, sharing with who you are sharing you know details of your life personal information uh, because when you are sharing certain things someone could clearly try to sabotage uh, by giving you misinformation or um, ill-advising you so with the spiritual partnership it's clear that you have a divine feminine that is working their way back to you um, this is someone that loves you maybe this is someone uh, that was playing games in the past, playing hard to get. I'm hearing Chucky e. Booker, so someone could have booked it away from you. Someone could have moved. Someone could have had someone doing, you know, this to them, which could have confused them, which could have had them like, you know, very mentally upped, you know, mind upped. Uh, but I am feeling and sensing strongly uh, that they are returning, and and they're returning. You know, as we saw, we had. Uh, protective and then we saw the community card which is really saying that you have strong spiritual team um, not just you but this person because we saw spiritual partnership and whenever you have a spiritual partnership that means there's angels and ancestors you know your your spiritual parents that are protecting this union um, with this 27 here that nine there's something changing um, for the better. I feel like this per partnership is coming into union and it's because someone is going to finally open up uh, and, and express what they've been holding back for so long. Um, why is the magic here? 39 Archangel Gabriel, the 12 Temple Path here for my Divine Masculines for the outcome. May I have a message of love and light. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have pride. See that? Pride and ego, stubbornness, has held someone back and we had games playing so someone was searching outside of themselves for something that was within you know pride is also just you know a lot of people um you know there's more so fears that they are trying to hide so they come off very proud but i feel like someone is having an ego death because this pride card is you know 19 19 reduces to 10 so that 10 reduces to one so someone's having some sort of ego death. Um, 
maybe there's finally some sort of truth that comes in but let's take a look at what came out remember i was saying that these two cards came up to six and i was saying it was like the lovers you know and especially with this angel of love there it's overseeing this very powerful very spiritual union and connection so we got six love here so this is someone that loves you this is someone that i feel you love equally uh, this is like the yin to your yang, Divine Masculines. This is that person that you feel is the one that got away. Or this is someone that feels you're the one that got away. Someone's been manifesting this whole uh, love connection here. Because with the candles, someone could be lighting candles, um, intentional candles, calling in their Divine counterpart. With uh, 6 and 6, which is the 3, 9, and the 12, that reduces to 6. And then this 6, this is reduced to 12 again. That's three. Three is associated with who? The Empress, the Goddess. Uh, so she could be doing some sort of love spells. Not particularly, um, you know, calling you in per se, but just doing love spells, period. Just calling in love, manifesting love into their life. Um, we have karmic completion. So as I said, someone was wrapping up a cycle. Someone had to leave something behind in order to have something new come in. And now they have this new beginning. Every ending denotes what? A new beginning. So if you're completing a cycle, if you're wrapping up a cycle, then that means you're coming into a brand new cycle. You're on the precipice of something new. So there's something beautiful that's taking place. And it's a spiritual, spiritual union, spiritual partnership, spiritual connection overall. And as I said, I saw marriage in, in, in this equation. I saw, you know, like eloping. Uh, I was seeing a lot of energy about marriage. And we have Roy Ayers searching. So maybe some of you all are Google searching someone or someone is Google searching you. Because I was getting a strong sense of like um, someone looking for someone online. Like maybe they're looking for someone's information. Because as we can see clearly, there's no communication. Because both of you are like in this hermit mode, um, isolated, disconnected. But maybe someone's going to come out and take action to start looking for another person that they realize they love. Give me one moment. I'm cotton mouth like a moat. Like a mug. Oh, man. So what do we have here? So we have page of staffs. I can't make this up. Communication. There's some communication coming. I feel like it's coming quickly. Did not say someone is the star. Wish fulfillment. They see you as a star. They could be sending up prayers and petitions, manifesting. We already saw the spell manifestation card. And that's literally what that star is doing. He's speaking what he desires, wishes, hopes into the ethers, saying those prayers, sending up petitions, you know, co-creating with source. See the empress? I mentioned the empress. We saw the emperor earlier. See that? I can't make this up. Your empress is coming in, and I feel like there's a message coming in. It's exciting news. It's exciting news. What's coming in for my divine masculines? May I have a mess message of love, message of light, my spirit of love and light. And we have four some D's. I can't make this up. I referenced love as a house earlier because we saw that hearth card. And look, look what's playing. So someone definitely is feeling like, you know, you are the home, the hearth. You may feel this about this divine feminine because I was picking up on an energy of a feminine that is very maternal, very nurturing, very loving, a healer in every right, like knows how to take care of the family, knows how to cook, keep house, knows how to go out, make their coins. That's not a child. That's not just a pretty face. That's someone that's very skilled. So you're attracting someone that's like I said, um, equal. You know, this is like your equal manifestation see this five of cups this is someone with deep regret you know heavy remorse you know feeling conflicted but look there goes that eight eight of staff see that can't make this up this is that action there's communication coming and someone may hit you up online someone may email you someone may call you out of the blue did not say divine timing everything happens in divine timing and in divine order you know everything doesn't happen when we feel it should happen sometimes there's some you know some things that are happening behind the scenes or there's circumstances that we may not be privy to that has to unfold before there can be some sort of reunion or and didn't look at that the guardedness seven of staffs 
very guarded, very blocked off, you know, and someone's trying to manifest. Someone's trying to manifest another person, but they get this sense that you, you're very guarded. So let's tap and we're going to pull some messages from here and then we're going to wrap it up. All right. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. There goes that King of Cups. Very loving, very devoted King. So divine spirit of love and light was coming in for my divine masculines. May I have a message of love and a message of light. Uh, spirit. And I did it in an extra time because I had to. All right. So we have five of swords. See that? This is absolutely the reason why Spirit is saying be compassionate because, you know, maybe this is someone, like I said, if you are familiar with this person, there could have been some sort of misunderstanding or miscommunication. Someone is really, you know, is realizing like, you know, they, they, they could have played themselves, you know, and that's why Spirit is reminding you to show forgiveness, you know, to have a forgiving heart, to not judge you know, maybe they're just saying be forgiving of the past person so it doesn't, you know, um, so it doesn't fuzz, you know, or cloud your um, your vision when it comes to new love. So it's almost like spirit is saying, look, show forgiveness for those individuals from your past because it's clear that someone was very smug. Someone was very um, conniving my way or the highway. Someone that wanted to win at all costs. He was dealing with someone that could have been very controlling or manipulative or just very cold or very um, biting with their words. And maybe that's something that triggers you. And that could be the reason why you come off very guarded, very protective. So as not to deal or tangle with that energy. But spirit is like, forgive those because they know not what they do. So forgiving this person and not judging you know, this isn't so much about judging um, another person per se. It's just about judging circumstances involving love connections. You know, we have the six of staffs. So this person is coming through with a major breakthrough. They're having some sort of victorious movement forward. They're coming toward you confidently. You know, this is someone that has very, um, you know, is, is very determined you know, to set the record straight, I heard in my mind's eye, to clear the air, to speak a truth. It's like they're no longer confused and conflicted. They now can power ahead, you know, because this is almost like, you know, being confused, conflicted mentally. And now there's like, okay, they're pushing forward. There's like some sort of breakthrough. And I feel like it's because they're trusting their intuition. They've learned from their past mistakes or past circumstances. And we have total kissing you. So this person wants to kiss you. They desire kissing you. Maybe you all have shared a kiss in the past. Maybe this person thinks about that last time they kissed you. We got the Queen of Swords. So this is a very wise person. I feel like they are, have also been through a lot. Whenever you see the Queen of Swords, this is a queen that has been through a lot of trauma. And that's the reason why she comes off to others as a bitch. or She comes off very cold. And it's only because of her past. But as you can see, her sword is down, you know, so there is no communication at this time. She could be reflecting back on the past. Maybe there was an argument between you and this person. You know, maybe you all had some sort of disagreement, you know, and there's no communication. But they do think back to that time. Maybe they've learned, you know, if they were very cold or very brash in the way that they communicated, maybe they've learned to kind of let their guard down a little because maybe the two of you were mirroring one another. We have the, the air imagination. So I do strongly feel like this person replays something constantly in their mind. And we can see clearly there was once confusion, you know, with this queen. This queen was once confused. But now they're, they're trusting their intuition. They're seeing things, you know, from that bird's eye view. Because all these clouds have kind of like dissipated. So whatever confusion they had, as we can see with this card... It's like they finally had that epiphany because now they're trusting their intuition, their gut instinct. So this is uh, powerful uh, because it's confirmation. So this Queen of Swords doesn't take too lightly to anyone insulting her intelligence. I was picking up on the energy of a divine feminine that has been very experienced, has been through a lot. But this queen on this depiction 
is you know she seems more inviting than the queen's uh, queen of swords on other cards and her sword is down and so that means there is no communication and you can see here how they feel about you the two of cups we're about to clarify how they feel about you and we have this is like someone that feels like you are the yin or the yang to the yin like they feel this is a cosmic connection and we did see that with effort they want you to make the effort they want to make the effort to build that happy house happy spouse 13 reduces to four that's the vibration of the 1111 card so this is about building they want to build with you grow with you they want to have that you know that happy house happy spouse vibes homie love a friend vibes this is someone that feels like you know uh the two of you complement one another like there would be an equal exchange equal give and take like you would speak their love language this person absolutely desires to speak to you they want to kiss you we got total kissing you some of you all could have met this person in 1996 this is someone that does that like they carry you around in their heart for real for real i feel like they also realize they love you like this is the epiphany and that could be why there's so much anxiety. Because all they want to do is hear your voice. Why is this uh, protection, 18, anxiety, 13, effort here for my divine masculines? They have a message of love and light. And then we're going to wrap it up. See that star? I can't make this up. They see you as a wish fulfillment. They see you as the one that got away. They feel that you are the one. This 17 is like there's some sort of blessing. Remember, follow your dreams we saw when we was... Um, shuffling with the uh, numerology deck and so they're following their dream they've been praying for you they've been praying for you calling in the angels you know trying to co-create this could they, they could be the ones manifesting you and really doing some sort of love spells or love magic and i do feel like this is some sort of you know sacred connection sacred union i mentioned the hierophant there he goes it could lead to marriage, absolutely. You know, they've been healing, you know, and they also see and realize that you've been doing a lot of healing as well. Which is why they want to pursue you because, you know, they understand why there was no efforts made in the past, perhaps. Because you had to heal, you had to grow. Maybe the both of you had to do that because, as we cl saw clearly, teaching and learning. You could be the student and the teacher at the same time. You know, and maybe that's what this person is realizing. But there is no doubt about it that they feel this is, you know, like you are the one. You know, you are their wish fulfillment. And I feel strong love. And this is someone I feel you have some sort of history with because those mountains denote like, you know, overcoming difficulties. You know, maybe this person was very, you know, kind of like codependent. You know how sometimes you see signs of codependency and that could throw you off like you know somebody will call you and if you don't get them the first time then they'll call again call again call it you know so who knows maybe there was some miscommunication with the community um miscommunication or uh something to that degree because i was hearing no man is an island and so maybe that's what kind of ran you off because you felt like they was just kind of like a little too clingy but with this hierophant someone's been growing maturing learning evolving you know like i said this is like you know that energy of studious energy somebody could be sitting at the feet of an elder maybe the elders are providing some sort of cloth talk giving them some sort of jewels maybe someone is speaking to you know a matriarch or patriarch in the family but i strongly feel like you know someone had to take that time out to assess themselves Maybe someone was, you know, in this little love triangle with, you know, their ex or their karmic. And it was just constantly like breaking up and making up, breaking up and making up. And finally, someone is taking the time to reflect or taking time to do some introspective work. And now they're going to move forward. They're going to leave something behind because they realize, you know, they have to love themselves, self-love, self-care. And love is an inside job. So that time out really brought a lot of things into perspective. And now they realize what they want. They realize, you know, what a, 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 a strong partnership or a strong um, commitment, what it entails. So let's see. Why is a star incubation 17 action, 61 self-love, 
and 37 time out here. See that? Making an offer, a genuine offer. This is also speaking to, like I said, like a blessing. This is someone proposing. I was picking up on someone like, you know, they um they're being some sort of um like you eloping, you know, just presenting someone with a ring, like, will you marry me? You know, going to the justice of the peace. But this is like something tangible. This is a blessing. This is a reward. This is recognition. This is like financial freedom, opportunities. This is promotions, pay increases, bonuses, infinite supply. This is like a blessing here. And this is for your hard work. So all of your hard work, all of the efforts that you put forth to making your dream a reality, you're being recognized, you're being rewarded. Remember, we saw Conocopia earlier. And then we saw prosperity. And now we see this Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel like there's something tangible. You're going to receive something tangible. Whether that be, like I said, a bump in your pay. Whether that be somebody um, that you feel like you want to propose to. And because there's a ring. This always looks like a woman's hand and a ring. So I feel like, you know, maybe some of you fellas might have a female proposing to you all. You know? You might have someone like giving you a ring. Maybe there's a female that's going to, you know, be the one, you know, approving some sort of loan or um, offering you a job, you know. But I definitely feel like there's, 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 there's a blessing here. And this is being rewarded. You're being rewarded. You're being recognized because spirit has seen how hard you've been working. Spirit sees all, knows all. And we have this knight of coins here. So this offer has been taking some time because someone wants to get things right, you know, and as I said, when you're working on yourself, then, you know, that is the that is the appropriate steps to take before you offer love to someone else's. You got to love yourself first. And so, you know, good things take time to create. And we have Tina Marie Deja Vu. I've been here before. So there's definitely, you know, some feeling of nostalgia. Maybe someone is feeling these Feelings of a nostalgia because they're thinking constantly or maybe some of you because your emotions are intensifying or because someone's thinking of you, you could be picking up on their energy and now you're feeling, you know, almost like this feeling of emotion or this, this intensity of passion for someone. And obviously there's a spiritual connection. There's also some level of like you know, this being like a destiny type of love, especially when I see that six, like I said, that's associated with lovers. And so the lovers is really, you know, that that is a committed union, something that spirit is overseeing, conspiring behind the scenes. So let's see. Why is candles magic? 39, Gabrielle, Archangel Gabriel, the temple path, six love, karmic completion, number one, new beginning, spirituality here for the outcome for my divine masculines. Thank you, spirit. And we have the Seven of Cups. So there was other options. Someone was confused. They didn't know which one, which option to take. Everything that glitters is in gold. Look what I have here. I can't make this up. You have the Two and the Nine of Cups, which is 11. This is your twin flame coming in. This person already feels this, this very strong connection. They feel like you're the one that got away. But more importantly, they feel like with you, they can, you there's an equal give and take. This is someone that feels that you're the home, you're the hearth. That you two have a very strong foundation. They feel you are absolutely a wish fulfillment. And this is someone who's wanting to come in and love you right. This is someone that feels that you would be able to love them right. And with Deja Vu, I've been here before. There's no doubt about it that there's some. this is someone from your past. Because I was picking up on the six, like the six of cups as well. And with deja vu, I've been here. Maybe you're dealing with someone named Tina or Marie. Remember, we heard Mary a couple of times. But this is, um, be mindful. Maybe this is that person. Some of you all had, you know, you have some, some female around you trying to confuse you. This could be that envious energy, you know, that's kind of sitting back on the throw little you know throw crumbs just to have you confused and conflicted but look how shallow the water is so it's like whatever they're offering is very shallow so be mindful that's why you you have to use your intuition 
because you don't want to fall into a trap. But whoever this is, I'm telling you, like they are. This is like the one that's for you. You know, they. This is someone that is going to speak your love language. This is someone that's going to interest you, and this is definitely somebody that's going to feel like a wish fulfillment. You know, I feel like you both will complement one another. This is a very sacred connection here. I feel. Because we kept seeing spirituality, spiritual partnership. I kept saying that. And then boom, the two of cups with the nine of cups. And this is how you're coming off, very guarded. That's why it's important to be open, be receptive. Because you have this here. This is a beautiful energy. I get it. You, I understand. You're very guarded, very protective. You know, this is about being selfish, loving you, yourself, and you. But when you have someone coming in to offer to you equally, it's like be open to that. Because you have angels that are conspiring behind the scenes to bring this union together. But this is your reading, Divine Masculines. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like. Hit the like. Hit the licky, licky like button, beloveds. And just show your sister some love. Um, as you all know, that's how it works on YouTube. In order for this video to be discovered. In order for it to get into the algorithms for others to discover it. Um, you have to hit the like button so that it can, you know, match up with the other uh, readings that are out there. But I do appreciate you all for tuning and tapping in. Hopefully my energy, the reading resonated for you um, and you come and come back and stay a while. For anyone that may be new again, you already know what it is, beloved. It's love is love is love. Peace, love and light to you all.